Hi, this is your host, Sapna Bharatiya, and welcome to TFL. Let's talk. Today, we have with us once again, John Leon, VP of Partnerships at Epiro. John, it's great to have you on the show. Swapna, so, great to see you again. Thank you for having me back. Uh, look forward to the talk. Me too. Uh, just quickly remind our viewers, what is Apiro all about? Uh, Apiro is uh, an application security posture management company. We're focused on helping our customers and clients uh, identify risk in the code base through the application development process. Uh, prioritize that risk and remediate it in a very automated manner, um, all to develop to deliver uh, greater proficiency to the organization, better productivity, and uh, and really help the organization work more effectively together. Excellent. Thanks for that intro. If I'm not wrong, you folks uh, want to be the diamond standard when it comes to application security posture management. First of all, uh, how would you define a diamond standard and why you're setting the standard so high for yourself? Well, very simply, Swap, no, we want to be best in class to work with, right? We want to be the best to partner with. We want to be the best to go to market with. We want to be the best to service customers and clients in partnership through the full life cycle, right? So from a partnership standpoint, it's really about being uh, best in class to engage with and go to market with. From a, a customer standpoint, uh, we've worked with some of the most uh, important brands and logos uh, around the globe, uh, the Fortune 100, Fortune 250. Uh, and there's three things here that I would share. One is that uh, we're enterprise ready. We take it very seriously in terms of being able to deploy um, at scale in some of the most intensive environments with some of the most important brands, uh, companies like Shell and MasterCard and BlackRock, we count as customers today. Uh, so we know what it takes to operate at scale. Uh, number two is we wanna make sure that we are uh, integrating well with others, that we understand clients uh, have so many existing investments how can we come into that uh, in, into that pool of technologies, uh, make it more efficient, uh, uh, provide better context, provide more efficiencies, right, at scale? And then thirdly, it's about people. And I mentioned this earlier, which is ensuring that our AppSec practitioners, our users, uh, are able to work effectively with developers and operations people. Um, that they do it at scale in some of the most important organizations. This is what we uh, deem as being important around being a, a diamond standard. Can you also talk about the state of you know, AppSec posture management, where we are, how mature it is, how much awareness is there, and also if we can look at security in general from a holistic point of view, where does app security fit, fits there? A year on from last time we spoke, the, the, the changes that have occurred within ASPM, Application Security Posture Management, uh, have been dramatic. Uh, it's an exploding part of uh, the security marketplace. Uh, ASPM just became uh, uh, into being last year, uh, just before RSA this time last year. Uh, what we were seeing is customers and CISOs have such an importance placed upon it because there are so many developers and because the pressures of producing code uh, are at such a high level, right? Code equals revenue, equals uh, success for the business. Uh, making sure that our security posture within that code base, understanding the risk in that code base, uh, addressing that risk before we get into production is so, so important. And so ASPM is squarely meant to address uh, those pain points, right? It's meant to address uh, earlier in the design phase, the test phase, the development phase, where is that risk in the code base? How can we remedy that before we're into production to help the velocity of the organization? Uh, so ASPM is absolutely critical part of a CISO strategy. Um, I think effectively what we've learned over the last year is certainly the integrations and the number of integrations are, are absolutely important. Customers run so many different technologies in their environment and being able to do that in a first class manner, integrate into those technologies, provide contextual value around those technologies uh, is really why this, this part of the, the security space uh, is, is growing so rapidly. You folks are also announcing the new Epiro integration program. Um, talk a bit about what it is and how it complements the offerings you already have there. A couple of years back, we, we launched the Apiro Partner Program, which is really focused on our reseller and referral partners, our consulting partners. And we've had great success there, Swabno. We've, we've got a number of world-class value-added resellers, consulting partners uh, that are working uh, with us collectively to, to meet client and prospect requirements. Uh, and I wanna thank all those partners first and foremost. The evolution here is a focus now on technology partnerships. It's really about taking all the learnings we've had over the last, I'm gonna say six to eight quarters working with various technology vendors, building out the integrations that are required to bring customer success. Uh, it's really about taking that knowledge and putting it into a program that allows us to, to really open the door and expand um, the learnings to, to other technology partners, uh, to allow us to work more effectively with a whole host of new technology partners, 
across so many parts of the SDLC, whether it's a Dash AST company, that's an SCA SaaS DAS company, <clears throat> a CICD company, API, API gateways. I think many have seen the number of announcements we've made over the last year with Wiz and, and Akamai and, and ServiceNow and many others, just to give a few examples. Uh, we're open for business, so I know that's what we want to announce today is that we've created a program that allows us to engage effectively, that allows us to for you to engage with our product teams effectively uh, and build world-class integrations. Excellent. Thanks for uh, talking about the program. Can you also talk about the inner workings of this uh, program? So we're excited again to announce the program. Uh, I think one thing I'll mention, Swap Knowles, we'll be at RSA in San Francisco in a couple weeks' time. Um, I'll be there, our founder, CEO, a number of our team will be there to help, to, happy to talk to you about uh, in person about the integration program and all the other great things we're doing around uh, feature ads to the platform itself. Uh, but for our customers and clients, the way we've we've administered this today is um, talk to your reseller, talk to your, your solution provider, your consulting partner who we're effectively working with today. We know that customers, especially large enterprise clients, uh, have very, very long standing relationships with very, very key uh, solution partners and providers. Uh, we work effectively with, with most and, and many and uh, are hearing most of that feedback about integration requirements through our partners. But of course, we also have a front page, if you will, on our website, right? We've got a nice new catalog that showcases all the out-of-box integrations and current partners that we have today. And we also have an online form that you can fill out as well, should you want to reach us through an online form as well. So um, again, we're here to service and help, and, uh, and those are two effective ways to do so. When it comes to integrating with uh, you know, customers who own whatever infrastructure they have, application they have, uh, how challenging, how easy it is, how, how much time does it take, and is there any downtime involved there? What I would say to you is uh, effectively we are delivering on integrations, uh, net new integrations in, in a very short period of time. What we've learned over the last, I'm going to say, again, year and a half, two quarter, six to eight quarters, is that being able to integrate uh, a Puro as an ASPM into your existing environment uh, is, is a very direct uh, task. It can be done very effectively, very quickly. We have a product team that is staffed with incredible partner engineers that have effectively done this with, with so many different technologies. Um, anywhere from two weeks to half a quarter, just to give you a ballpark range, is what we've seen historically. From time of initial integration use case discussion to building out the, the pillars to then building out the integration itself and deriving first customer value, very, very quickly for us to do that effectively. And from there, it's not just about the initial integration, it's about road mapping that integration, it's about enhancing it, and it's about expanding it based on the customer's requirements. And we're doing that effectively today as well. Also, can you talk about the benefits that customers will get through this uh, integration? Some of the key benefits that the customers will derive is uh, bring, being able to bring a world-class ASPM into their environment uh, no matter what technologies they're using today, right? We want to make sure that we're helping them with the, the promise of ASPM, which is this notion of identifying uh, uh, application inventory, creating visibility, the notion of being able to prioritize the risk in the organization, where is the high business impact risk in that code base, and the promise also of automating the remediation component. How do I understand who the developer is, uh, where they reside, where is that line of code that effectively needs to be uh, remedied so that we can move forward with a more security, with a more secure posture. Um, these are the promises of Apiro as an ASPM that we want to extend to uh, all partners in the technology industry uh, as we integrate with their with their technologies. Um, customers have made investments in technologies. Our intent is not to say, uh, our intent is to be additive, I should say, to those investments to make sure they're getting the best value uh, and the best return on those investments. Now, when it comes to, you know, integration with security tools, so uh, it, it can lead to a lot of chatter. Uh, I was talking to a CSO and the, the, it, it depends on who you talk to. Security folks, they don't like a lot of new application coming in there because uh, complexity leads to security risk. You know, the more complex, the more tools you throw that, you have to go through. And same thing can be seen from application developer's point of view, that if you're throwing a lot of security tools in there, it will create a lot of noise. How do you look at it? How, how do teams feel about it and teams on the both side of the aisle? And how this integration kind of mitigates some of those challenges or, or concerns? It's a, such a great question. And, and, and we see the same, which is nobody needs another tool, right, in the security industry. Um, there are many, many tools. We're going to see a lot of them at RSA in a few weeks' time. 
what we hear from CISOs and from AppSec practitioners and from companies and clients we talk to is help us make sense. Help us make sense of the information that we're receiving. Um, we call it noise. People like to call it noise. And, and I guess it can be noisy if you're day in and day out as a practitioner. It's a lot of information. Much of it can be very, very useful. The challenge, though, is we've been very manual in terms of trying to make sense of this information. We have spreadsheets of, of vulnerabilities. We have alerts that, we, that create fatigue. We have to set meetings with developers to understand libraries and languages and data models and frameworks and things of that nature as they're building out their applications. The idea of an ASPM and the promise of ASPM and Apiro specifically is that connecting us into the source control manager creates uh, a contextual information, creates context around that information, creates ability to prioritize where to spend that limited time. No organization is going to hire more people uh, at volume, right? Right now, we're trying to do more with less as an industry. Customers are certainly, certainly trying to do more with less. If I, as the ASPM and Apiro, can come into that organization and provide more contextual value about where to spend your limited time, about how to quickly remediate the things that we do find that are high business impact, then we become a force multiplier for the client. And this is what we see again with our clients over and over again. It's not so much bringing in a new tool, it's us coming in as a, as a solution to help them make sense of the tools and all the information that's being provided to them in a very prioritized way that delivers automation to a part of AppSec that hasn't existed before. Since you are, of course, you know, a VP of partnership, how, not how important partnerships are for Apiro, but in general, when it comes to security, because the market is crowded, folks use different tools from different vendors. At the same time, security, depending on how you look at, can become a sticky thing. So talk a bit about the importance of partnership for the ecosystem itself, then importance of partnership for Apiro, and then if you can also talk about some of your key partners. So the, the, the first thing I would say is, is there's a shared, this is what I love about our industry, there's a shared perspective of we all work together to satisfy the security concerns, the posture concerns of our clients and organizations. This first and foremost. Um, some of us compete, many of us coexist, a lot of us collaborate. And that's, that's okay, this is a wonderful thing about our industry. And but everyone is sharing information for the betterment of, of our customers and clients and, and, their, and the security posture that exists. That's the first thing. Number two is we have a incredible roster of partners that we have built relationships with since the inception of Apiro. Uh, you could look across every domain, swap and you'll find a logo or a partner that, that stands out, uh, many of them that stand out across many different domains that, um, that matter to our clients and customers, right? Everything is customer driven when it comes to partnerships. And, and as you talk to technology vendors, it's really about what does the customer need? What's the client need? And how do we help them effectively get there? And, and this, this is really the origins and the inceptions of great partnerships. So if you look at our roster that we have today, and, and I'll name drop a few, the Secure Code Warriors, um, the Bug Crowds, the Men's, you'll find uh, Akamai, you'll find ServiceNow announcements, you'll find number of announcements across many different domains. Uh, much of those, most of those were born out of customer demand and interest. And so it's really a promise that we have as, as a company is to, to make sure we're satisfying what our clients need to be effective in their own environments. Uh, and partnerships are critical to that. ASPMs cannot succeed. We cannot succeed without healthy relationships across the industry. And, and I'm proud of the, the partners we have today, and I'm thankful to them for, for their time, their resources, and, and for their go-to-market support uh, on behalf of all of our customers jointly. So. Uh, so yeah, thank you. What are some of the major trends, both ways, positive, uh, negative, at the same time with the emergence of new buzzwords, new technologies, new workloads? I'm looking at LLMs and you know, Gen AI. Uh, I just want to hear your thoughts, what kind of trends you're seeing. I think there's a couple things that, that come to mind. One is th this notion of creating more automation because the, the, the number of manual tasks uh, that we need to address that we can't sustain, right? The velocity that exists around development, the velocity that exists around operationalizing technologies uh, and the continued innovation around, as you mentioned, Gen AI and others is gonna make it even more problematic for, for humans, for AppSec people, for our security people to keep pace with all this innovation that exists with the development teams, with the operations people. It's, an, it's a paramount, it's an imperative that we provide the same sort of, uh, of automation, the same sort of uh, abilities to quickly identify uh, where can we uh, address uh, pain points in the code base, uh, where can we address the risk concerns that exist so that we don't become a laggard, 
so that AppSec doesn't become a friction point in the organization. We want to be business value additive. We want to make sure that we're accelerating de development and deployment. And we want to make sure that we are enabling the goals of the business. And this is really, really critical. Um, I think what we're going to see also is pressures from outside agencies around compliance mandates, around uh, within a specific vertical requirements for compliance, um, things that require reported elements about material changes, um, about the impact of the organization, the security posture. The more we can help enable our AppSec teams and our people that, that utilize ASPM and Appear specifically to address those industry level concerns, um, the better we're going to make them in, more, in terms of more effective and efficient within their roles. Once again, going back to um, you know ASPM, talk about the importance of culture there. We have talked about culture a lot, and when you talk about security, culture does become a very you know important topic. But I'm not looking at security in general, but you know ASPM space. Well, culture is really about uh, effectiveness. It's about uh, collaboration. It's about uh, it's about efficiency as well. Uh, you know how we how we dialogue with one another, and I think that within, uh, as I mentioned before, within the DevOps and DevSecOps uh, sort of uh, uh, cultural practice, right over the last decade plus, very easy to kind of describe and define, but very hard to put into practice. And I think this has been a challenge for so many organizations. And I think much of that has to do with maybe some disparities in tooling, disparities in capability across the different teams. Um, you know, my background, I've, I've been at, at some developer, amazing developer tooling companies, operations companies as well. And the, the efficiencies that we provided those users uh, and the seriousness around making them efficient and, and listening to those users and giving them better tooling um, was at such a high degree. It was very, very important to make sure they were satisfied. I think within, within security, with AppSec specifically, um, there has been a, a need for more of that sort of focus around bringing automation to their task. Um, bringing more effectiveness and capabilities such that they can work with dev and operations more, more effectively. And, uh, and that culture is so important because when you have a culture that can come together with the same information, right? And this is, again, is a promise of ASPM is that I see the same thing across the inventory of the application. I can talk with developers uh, very effectively in terms of uh, repositories and lines of code. I can talk with operations people about CI and CD tooling, et cetera. If I can help them understand and talk effectively across the organization, we create more efficiencies that way. Uh, and that's really the promise of ASPM and, and Apero specifically. Can you also talk about what are some of the most popular tools that uh, security engineers like or love? When you ask about popular tools, uh, I could probably give you 10 different answers to 10 different people, right? I think the, I think the answer I'll give you, Swapnil, is people love, people love innovation when it brings uh, ease of use, when it brings uh, sophistication to a problem that maybe has been ongoing when it brings um, effective remediation, right? If I can, if I have a tool that addresses those things, makes me more effective, makes me more valuable to the organization, and helps me uh, deliver to the the goals of the organization, the KPIs that my my higher ups care about, then this is a favorite tool. And I think there's some great examples of that across, you know, pick your CNAP and CSPM, pick your API, you know, runtime security solution. Um, certainly with ASPM, you know, it's our goal and, and aspiration to be the top and diamond standards we talked about before. Uh, and so as we talk with security professionals, um, yes, there's, there's, a, there's an effectiveness and a love for certain tools. But I think really it's more an effective uh, this love for, as I said before, the efficiencies gained, the value that I can provide to the organization, the effectiveness I have for the organization. I think those are the most important things sort of keep our eyes on. John, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course talk about this Apiro's integration uh, programs and of course uh, much larger picture of this space. Uh, thank you so much for the great insights and as usual, I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. So thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it and, uh, and we'll talk to you in the future.